Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid S episode number 12 and this is the final episode of this season. So um, we in the previous episode we got to see a lot of background information uh, about Toru how she came here what was the circumstances behind that and all those stuff. So we got to know that there was this like you know the, the gods versus the dragons there's this battle going on and then toru was actually you know because uh his dad uh not sorry his, not his sorry because her dad allowed her the freedom to actually see the world for herself and decide for herself what she wants to do which is def definitely a great decision taken by dad unfortunately a lot of anime dads doesn't do that <laughs> so good for toru's dad and you know toru learned a lot of things and she like you know like she decided that uh, you know after meeting so many people she decided to stop take uh you know take control of the war and stop the gods herself unfortunately her power was not that much compared to the god the god struck her down and she came to the human world and then we know what happened kobayashi made her and now she is happy in this world so and a lot of other background information we saw like little kanna you know in the flashback and quetzalcoatl um Fafnir, and the battle between uh, elma and toru all that stuff so it was a nice little you know backstory and we have more information about uh toru now so let's see what this episode brings this final episode and i don't know how this is going to go so hopefully it ends in a good note like no cliffhangers i don't want those so yeah <laughs> anyways let's get started so this is uh miss kobashi's dragon maid s episode number 12 reaction i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here to sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go Nato! Wow, Kana can say some big words. <laughs> Okra miso soup. Okay. Oh, festival. <laughs> what oh she wants to go with kobashi but kobashi is i guess they i don't think they get like you know leave like in the office due to festivals yeah fortunately no uh <sighs> Yeah, she's thinking about the... Hmm. Oh, that's a cool mug. Yeah, take some time off, I guess. Or that, <laughs> I think so. Hmm. There you go. Yeah. Oh, the story. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh no. Hmm. 
Ah. Isa Elma. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Like she, she never was overimposing Gotoru. Like you know, like she never kind of overimposed on her. Just kept everything on her. <laughs> Are these Yukatas? I think okay, yeah, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> she won't wear. <laughs> oh my god. And uh, no, I think it's for her. Oh no, it's for her, okay. No! What? I think the right one is better. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Okay, God, okay. Oh, I realized she was talking about God, so. <laughs> she really did not wear a yukata, what? <laughs> Where's Toru? Oh, she's, oh yeah, she had the job. <laughs> <laughs> <Good. laughs> Damn. Four hundred yen. Okay. Whoa, that's a huge line. <laughs> what a dilemma. <laughs> Yeah, special friend uh, privilege. <laughs> okay, Saika is here. Take as well. <laughs> She's eating. <laughs> Oh, what's a quarter? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Local. <laughs> uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! He didn't say it. Okay. Um, yeah, <laughs> live a long life. Uh. <laughs> oh, my God, it's cute. Damn, he's like. Single handed. Hmm. 
<laughs> single handedly will oh oh my god <laughs> okay come on kids are here <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> uh <laughs> yeah oh she's talking about her own all right okay is using her own you know like Toru is getting more not like depending on her more that's why she's asking that question to so <laughs> all right hmm. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm better than you. Oh, okay. Yeah, like that, that's fine. Yeah. The thing, the things that Thor was saying now, that is the real, real indication of maturity. <laughs> oh, damn. Look at them jumping around. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fafni, my God, look at <laughs> Takia's dress. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oof. Wow, that was nice.
And let's see what what the who who took this picture? <laughs> oh she oh, okay God life is constant change but okay oh. <laughs> what? Flesh turned into flowers? What the hell is this? Some kind of horror? <laughs> okay. Wait. There it is, it's blooming. So, oh, the oh my god, <laughs> whoa, it's like in the middle of the forest. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Farming, look at Farming's face. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, Kana, don't. <laughs> um. <clears throat> oh, it's an interesting way of. Oh my god, look at them. <laughs> yeah, like, like, oh my. What? <laughs> Favorite stale. Okay, understandable. Um What? Whoa, what the <laughs> Okay. I don't think that was the correct decision. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. <laughs> Oh no, don't do that. He'll die. <laughs> Competition. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> okay, there you go. All, all of them are, uh, except Takia, all of them are dragons. And Sota. Ooh, my God, let's see dragon arm wrestlings. Um, is this a good idea? Um, don't break his hand. He won't be able to play his video games then. Papni will be mad. Ooh! Oh my God, what the? Someone stop. <laughs> No more video games. <laughs> so tough. <laughs> oh, this will be interesting. I'm sure Luca, but will she? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Kanna is weak. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Is this Elma versus the Yeah, there you go, I knew it. Oh boy. Um Oh 
There you go. Oh, Luca versus Toru. I don't think it's. <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh no. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, she is too strong. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> oh my god, that distracted her. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, she knew that this is going to happen. <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> oh <laughs> okay. What are they doing? <laughs> oh my god, look at this. Yeah. Yeah. Live in the moment. Mm -hmm. Oh no. What what's happening now? Main event. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, whoa. Excuse me. Wow, I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> um. Is <laughs> Fafnir still on this game? I think she's going to say something else. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> Irony. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh boy. What? Oh. <laughs> Fafn is still in this game. <clears throat> oh my god! <laughs> 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 
Hør? <laughs> oh no! Oh my god, what is... <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh my god, even in the last portion, they ha they're flexing their animation skills. Kyo <laughs> Annie, my god. <laughs> oh boy, what? Wow, what a, what a great way to end this season. Okay. Okay, um, that's the end. Wow. Okay, um, I, I, I was kind of thinking, like, hopefully it doesn't end in some weird way, you know, like some kind of uh, cliffhanger or some kind of serious portion. Thankfully, it was not like that. And, uh, yeah, everything went, uh, like, ended in a good note. Um, obviously, we have, uh, like, you know, more, I, I hope, there will be future seasons. I'm sure it will have. This Kobashi is extremely popular. And the manga is still ongoing, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely. It will have more seasons in the future. <clears throat> Hopefully, it comes quicker than season 2. Because, <clears throat> as far as I can remember, season 1 quite a long while ago. And it took... Uh, but obviously, like, you know, Kyo Annie had the whole, like, you know, the thing. The, um, <clears throat> the incident that happened. Like, because of that, I'm sure, like, you know, the, uh, probably the <coughs> time got delayed and something. So, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> so, yeah, hopefully the new season, it comes. And I'll be waiting for it, obviously. Like, this is one of the greatest show. And with, with an amazing, you know, animation and stuff, it's, it's just great. And, you know, I'll be looking forward to the upcoming season. Okay, so this episode, um... <coughs> Here we see that the whole thing after uh, Kobashi got to know what, uh, you know, a little part of Toru's past. And I'm sure like Toru started thinking about most things and I'm, I'm guessing he probably thought about uh, actively interacting with other humans and kind of getting more accustomed to this place or something. But we are always like, you know, accustomed to see Toru always fussing about Kobayashi. And Kobashi is also uh, accustomed to that, you know, like small little stuff always like Miss Koba, like, you know, uh, like let's do this, let's do that. But this time, you know, Todu didn't even do, like, you know, say anything about the summer festival, all that stuff. And she's like busy with her own stuff. So <clears throat> it's kind of normal for Kobayashi to feel that, yeah, something must be, you know, wrong. And she herself was uncomfortable with that. He was so accustomed to Toru's, <coughs> no, no, Toru's, what do you call it, constant attention. You know, like suddenly if, if that stops, obviously, like, Kobash is going to feel weird about it. And, <coughs> okay, and so, obviously the best place to actually, you know, uh, get that off the chest is the summer festival. The summer festival comes and everyone goes to the summer festival. Toru obviously had her little job, but you know, she she started, you know, enjoying the festival after that, after her job ended. And uh like obviously this is like the last episode. All the characters, all the main characters were present here, uh were seen in this episode. All the main characters <coughs> Elma, Lukua, uh Kanna, all the others, you know. Takia, Take, Tota. So, <clears throat> okay, so here is the. Okay, so one thing. Uh, okay, so there's a, a lot of things happen in the summer festival. The first thing is obviously Kobashi asking Tota about the whole, like, you know, Lukua. Like, you know, will you feel bothered if Lukua starts hanging around with other people? And obviously like so so that's a kid like yeah like he he probably is still unable to actually gauge his own feelings and you know like like it, it's quite normal like he, he he's not even at that correct age so obviously he he wasn't able to answer that felt conflicted probably she realized that 
and he just she just realized that she just wanted others to get others opinion on this whole thing because she's not accustomed to this but i'm, I'm guessing like asking sota about that was a little bit you know like he did not re realize that it's kind of uh like you know unusual for someone of her his age to actually realize what like you know the whole thing the whole concept of uh what do you call that mm -hmm. not jealousy in a way you can call this uh, uh lon loneliness yeah loneliness you can call it the whole thing of loneliness like you know suddenly like <clears throat> if someone was like you know constantly showering yourself with herself himself with attention and suddenly if he or she started doing something else this whole concept in a way you can kind of realize that uh tota and lukwa their their whole dynamic is kind of similar to toru and um uh, kobayashi where you know like toru and lukwa are like in the same position and constantly showering you know the, the their object uh, of interest in with attention whereas the other like you know character was a, a lot more calm cool like obviously sota <laughs> sota is kind of different in that regard because he, he usually kind of freaks out kobayashi is not like that but still it's kind of like the same so in a way i can say you can say that that was kind of probably like the like sota is probably the only one who can kind of relate to kobayashi in a way but he obviously does not have the correct edge to actually understand what's happening and realize his own feelings so yeah anyways um <clears throat> That was that and uh we see all the other characters you know saikawa kana kana again like you know saikawa with uh like realizes kana realizes that she, she like you know she and saikawa there's like the difference between them she's a dragon saikawa is a human she'll get older kana won't or, or probably it'll take a lot of lot longer time for kana to you know kind of for her age to increase <clears throat> so you know she said that uh what is it? yeah she said what did she say oh yeah uh, live a long life <clears throat> no i'm still not sure about the whole like you know age thing about dragons and humans like like how many human years does it take for a dragon to become uh, you know change from a kid to an adult like kana is like a uh, like a lo lot older than everyone you know but she she's she's a child now so i don't know how much time it actually takes will take for a dragon that is kana for her to actually become an adult you know like toru but it's probably a long time so like i'm thinking like really like i don't know how this uh, like you know this uh, this anime and this manga is going to end uh, i'm i'm sure it will probably end in a like you know like i don't know like in a way where like by the end of it everyone like lives their normal life like you know with with like you know with the dragon friends and it will probably end in something like that like there won't probably be won't won't be any time skip or anything because if there's like a time skip you know where like you know a lot of mangas kind of do that manga anime where like you know like by the end of it there's like a time skip and we see by the end like what's happening like all the characters are grown up or what's happening to them what are they doing um, a lot of mangas kind of do that i doubt anything like this is going to happen to this manga because if something like that happens it will be really i don't know how they're going to do that because kana is small now you know like so if we get a time skip where we see saikawa has grown up you know like kana will still be small I and mean, saikawa will be, will be an adult like it will be kind of unusual in a like you know the way it will end it will be kind of unusual i'm not sure how this is going to go but that's one thing i always think about like what are they going to do when as kanna said like you know like realized that when they grow up you know they their age will kind of remain the same their human appearance will be still the same but saikawa will grow up uh, kobayashi will you know like start getting older and same with sota so what then i don't know like i'm quite curious like and interested about how they're going to tackle that aspect here because we've seen them actually like you know like kind of going into in this direction where this whole age thing comes up where what will happen if you know like uh when the respective characters grow up but the dragons are still the same age like what's what will go what's going to happen then and i'm sure like at that moment like everyone is going to know like, you know all the friends all the school friends they're obviously going to realize after like 
four or five years that like i'm sure they'll kind of like feel weird not feel weird but kind of think that something is going on because they're growing up and karna is not so what then what what are they going to do then is, is karna going to like change her appearance kind of take an adult form or something is that what's going to happen i'm quite curious about that but that's for you know some other time probably in the future but yeah for now you know living in the moment Okay, that was the whole thing with them, and then we get to uh, uh, Ilulu and uh, what was his name? Take, 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 and but no, Ilulu, Ilulu kind of tells him about uh, the whole deception, like how she deceived her to, <laughs> you know, the sweet deception of becoming a child and getting tricked by an adult, and yeah, Take was like, yeah, like. Like, you know, I'll also deceive you. <laughs> okay. And, uh, yeah, and then we get to see, like, Kobashi and, like, you know, Toru kind of walk around. And Toru, uh, Kobashi telling her, what do you call it? Her feelings, in a way, Toru. And, you know, like, he thinks that she's not worthy enough for a person like Toru. For her to actually... Put her in such a high pedestal but you know like as Toru said that it makes him ha her happy it's you know like like she, it's basically that she she likes her that's just it nothing else about this it's just her feelings and you know that's that's all that is needed here so like Kobashi was thinking it in a different direction. She was thinking that, oh, I'm not worthy enough. Like, she's uh, such a mighty dragon, you know? And the whole thing of her actually hanging around with the neighbors and everyone kind of associating with others also probably bothered her quite a bit because, you know, she usually doesn't do, do that. So she, that whole thing of, like, you know, I'm not worthy enough kind of, I'm guessing, put, a, like, a little burden on her. And she was kind of getting bothered by that, so... So that's why like you know like after telling everything to Toru, Toru, yeah, Toru was like <clears throat> No, like even though dragons have their own pride, this is something completely different. And just that yeah, I like you and for, for now and forever. And that was like a good way act for actually like you know uh Obashi's what do you call it? Like the the awkwardness the weird feeling that kobashi was having that probably cleared that up and that was a needed portion when they needed to talk their heart out <laughs> and then we get to the flower viewing and <laughs> that was a fun little section each and every character like you know doing their own thing and <clears throat> okay the one section kind of like where, where was that Just a sec. Okay, enjoying nature. He, this portion. Toru says quite an interesting thing. Like he, she says that if make it feel as if humans are separate from nature. And I also realized that yeah, we kind of think like that. Like like all of us. Like we are different from nature. But it's not like we are kind of part of the nature as well. So and like you know these like Toru is like a, Toru is a dragon and like you know for beings like her. And other dragons and other like you know higher beings for them they also probably like you know when they are like you know like they look at the humans from up above they also probably think that ah these little humans they're also part of the nature that's why like you know the whole perspective thing like we look at nature in that way and we kind of separate ourselves from nature usually even though we know that we are also part of the nature because we are kind of at a higher position than them, you know, we are humans, we have brains, we are more superior to them. Almost all form of nature, in a way, <clears throat> you know, so, but still there's like, you know, like when, when nature gets mad, it kind of destroys everything, that's kind of different, that's something different. But I'm talking in it in this way, like, we as humans, we feel that, yeah, we are superior to all, like, you know, most forms of nature. That's why we kind of separate ourselves from the nature. And... But Toru, who's a dragon, she's like such a huge thing, 
you know like, like such a you know what do you call it like otherworldly being but then they when they fly around the sky and look downwards they see little, like you know humans walking around and they feel like ah like look at these humans you know and they kind of separate themselves from nature and feel like humans are part of the nature as well because they themselves think they're like you know superior to all the other forms of nature now the funny thing here is i'm sure for god here you know the god that they were fighting against for god when he you know looks at everyone from the top position he thinks that look at this little dragons they're also part of the nature and like you know he and the god himself or herself separates themselves from the humans and the dragons and all the other forms of nature i don't know i'm just saying you know like whenever like there's like a higher position you know like they, we kind of separate ourselves from the things that are happening and you know like this this whole line kind of made me realize as well that yeah we're also part of the nature in a way <laughs> god it's an interesting interesting line that Thor said anyways um okay and then uh Obash says maybe that's what happens when we try to seek, seek objective beauty and share it with each other yeah another like you know very uh meaningful line objective beauty you know <laughs> and <laughs> then he sees all of them playing video games <laughs> oh god Papnir and all of them you know and anyways then we get to the next portion the arm wrestling section and obviously we see how strong they are you know and i kind of forgot that kanna is actually weak physically so i thought like there's going to be an immense battle between kanna and who was kanna wrestling with luka yeah but then i realized that nah kanna is actually weak physically <laughs> and then the final battle kanna was uh toru versus luka and <laughs> to actually bribe <laughs> so that to actually say that cheer for her and for luka to get rattled and yeah she became the best mate <laughs> everyone was having a great time like you know like each and every character doing their own thing and yeah that was like a then what you know like Kobayashi says that where was that section no Toru says that you'll have to go back to work again tomorrow right and Kobayashi's like but well forget about it we don't have to worry about that now and like this is the thing you know like for uh, for people not, not people but for you know, like humans you know they have like a short time on, in in our in the world you have like a limited time we are going to be alive and that's why we are able to as Kobayashi said live in the moment because we know that we won't get this time much uh, for organisms which have even lesser lifespan they live in the moment even more than us you know and so for dragons who have such a huge lifespan they probably forget to live in the moment you know because everything is like a boring monoton monotonous thing like thousands and thousands of years they're living and nothing to do boring you know like like people usually like you know in animals we always see like people trying to get immortality and stuff but honestly speaking like if you don't have friends who are also immortal and stuff to do you know immortality is pretty boring that's like the hard fact you know unless you have some kind of huge ambition like world domination or something you just want to be immortal for the sake of it you know you're going to be bored like it's it's and like you know it, it's also sad like all your loved ones will die so immortality is an overrated concept and <laughs> you know like we see here like the dragons like you know where for example uh toru uh like that that one line really kind of like you know what can i say i don't kind of impressed her because i'm sure like she realizes that she and the other dragons they with their huge lifespan they have probably forgotten to live in the moment that's one thing that they have probably forgotten and that's why like you know they always look at it in such a uh what can i say like, you know in a position of a spectator 
you know they they never kind of jump into things because you know they, like i don't know how, if i'm able to explain it properly but because of the huge lifespan you know they yeah they never live properly in the moment so this one thing like you know like people also probably realize that Kobayashi and all the like you know this fun that they're having this is all this, this is probably a moment for her you know this is a moment for her for her huge lifespan like how much 80 years you know, 80 more years or uh, 75 80 more years Kobayashi and all the other humans will live who he is accustomed with this is just a blink of an eye for uh, uh, Toru, you know, and this is just a moment for her. So as Kobayashi says that just like, you know, have fun for this moment, you know, live in the moment. Since Kobayashi is just a moment for Toru, yeah, Toru also probably, you know, like kind of realizes now what is the actual, uh, like, you know, the actual, uh, what do you call it, attractiveness or the actual significance. Of living in the moment which is happening to her now she is living in the moment now this is just but a moment for her Kobayashi and all the other characters so yeah this is Kobayashi's moment Kobayashi's living in the moment uh, not Kobayashi sorry Toru's living in the moment so yeah this is I don't know it's kind of sad in a way if you actually think about it it's just like a little blink of an eye for Toru uh, Kobayashi is going to live for just a blink of an eye comparing it to Toru's huge lifespan so yeah you know they're having fun in this moment and that's just it that's all that's needed for now at least and then we get to the <laughs> wedding portion of God <laughs> oh boy and yeah that was kind of fun. I was not expecting suddenly Toru to suddenly say that yeah we're going to have a wedding now <laughs> And Kobayashi kind of running away and everyone following her. My god, that was funny. Yeah, have fun. You know, this moment will never come back again. So, better to have fun than to regret it later on. <sighs> so, yeah, that was it, guys. That was my reaction to Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid uh, episode uh, S, episode number 12, the final episode. And that was a fantastic way to end this uh, season. And hopefully, the next season come, comes and is there any announcement let me check <laughs> oh my god uh, any is there any announcement no i don't think so no i don't think this there has been any announcement hopefully in the next months couple of months we're, we're sure going to we're surely going to have some no new have a new season it's immensely popular kyoani is doing an amazing job and yeah just fantastic that's it guys thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say your opinions about this season anything else i'll definitely check them out okay so the show that is going to replace this uh, i'm probably going to do a community post later on uh, where i'll i'm going to uh like you know like i'm going to post what i'm going to watch the next season which is uh fall yeah fall 2021 i'm going to which shows i'm going to watch which seasonal animals i'm going to watch which other animals i'm going to react to i'm going to do a community post so keep an eye out for that if you are interested in my future anime reactions so that's it guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video so until then goodbye and have a nice day